Kalashnikov's AK-47 assault rifle has played a crucial role in conflicts around the globe. For more on the important part the weapon uh, has played, we're joined by Vadim Kazulin, the director of the Conventional Arms Program from the Center for Policy Studies in Russia. Hello to you, Vadim. Well, first off, I'd like to say that we have a weapon here, but it's not a real AK-47. It's just a model, and in fact, it's AK-74. But we're talking about Kalashnikov A-47 today. Uh, why is this weapon so popular? I mean, it's been around for more than six decades. Uh, first of all, it's very reliable and uh, really um, a weapon for common use. It's very simple, easy to disassemble, easy to assemble, and uh, very reliable at combat action. And, of course, there, there was another reason. Uh, the AK-47 was adopted by Warsaw Pact. Actually, uh, not only Warsaw Pact, all uh, uh, satellites of former Soviet Union, a lot of them also applied them, and it was produced in more than 20 countries. Well, like you said, it was produced in more than uh, 20 countries and used by uh, more than 50 armies in the world. Also, uh, I was reading on the website that there are more than 90 million rifles existing in the world today, and a lot of them are also used in global conflicts. Uh, the question here is, is anything uh, done to control the manufacture of this weapon? Because as Kalashnikov himself, he said that back then he didn't patent his invention because patent didn't exist. Uh, actually... Only one out of ten Kalashnikovs available in the world is produced by uh, Russia or former Soviet Union. Uh, the remaining nine are clones or uh, unlegal, uh, uh, mostly unlegal products produced uh, illegally without license in uh, many countries, starting from China, North Korea, and including Bulgaria. Those weapons are widely sold in the United States. There is a joint venture between Bulgaria and the United States, which uh, has no license from the original manufacturer. Uh, Russian government is uh, permanently trying to solve this problem. Uh, it not only... Uh, it not only normalized the uh, economic situation in this field, but also it will reduce tension in the world. That's uh, our uh, Russian stand. Uh, and uh, Mr. Kalashnikov uh, also uh, frequently talks about that, uh, even including uh, the audience in the United Nations. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we have this weapon here, and earlier you said, in fact, that's not a real weapon. One more time, I want to emphasize that as just a model. Uh, you said that it's very easy to use, and this is also one of the reasons why it is so popular. Can you demonstrate how easy it is to uh, d uh, disassemble it? Uh, one of the main principles of... Uh Mikhail Kalashnikov, the weapon should not contain small parts, not to lose them at the combat situation. So to disassemble uh, Kalashnikov, you just need several seconds, and that's almost all what you need to disassemble it. It's same easy to disassemble as assemble it. Uh, it's very reliable. It, it can shoot in sand conditions, in swamp. They, these were, uh, there were special tests uh, to this effect, and Kalashnikov was the most reliable. Even it was competing with the weapons of uh, more uh, advanced and experienced designers uh, who designed weapons which helped to uh, win Nazis during the World War II. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, even I can say, uh, as a person who doesn't know very much about guns and weapons in general, that uh, indeed it's, uh, very, it looks very simple to me, and it didn't take very much time uh, for you to, to, to do that. All right. Well, Vadim, thanks very much indeed for coming to us here in the studio and demonstrating how um, easy it is to use this rifle uh, and, uh, in fact, how uncomplicated it is. And once again, it was a model here of uh, AK-74. Thanks very much indeed.